All right, and hello to the new followers on uh, Twitter as well, Twitter bugs, and thanks again for those that are uh, continual retweeters. Very cool. So we're gonna enter the French defense. What what variation of the French? Ah, Black says no. Actually, uh, this is a quick transposition to a Benoni. Let's develop. I need to defend my pawn on e4. These guys you might regard as counterparts. They're both fighting for the same central squares. Knights on dark control light. It's the light squares in the center that they're uh, watching out for. So, knight here. Uh, there could be an eventual pin. Um, I'm going to just stop that altogether right now. So, let's play h3. Knight f3. I have a space advantage because of this pawn planted on black side, so let me follow through. Swing the bat all the way. <clears throat> and uh, what else? Where does my light square bishop want to be? I think just e2. Should I develop my light square bishop out? Or my dark square bishop? Actually, I'm going to go with my light square bishop right here. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to play. I'm going to play here right now. I want to. I want to watch out for this because of the pressure on both d5 and e4. Uh, what I was saying earlier is I'm a bit reluctant to develop my bishop to f4 because of potential pawn structure changes, and in this case, it would be coming with tempo. So I'd really like to maybe avoid that if possible. Now, there's going to be a lot of uh, minor pieces beating up at my uh, d5 pawn. Mm. I guess I'm going to have to support it with bishop c4. And I'm, I'm really starting to wonder if I should have initially developed my light square bishop there. Mm, not so sure. Uh, another move I could be doing is actually queen to d3. And I think I'm going to go with that right now. And, well, actually, hang on. Um, I could take here. That knight is still around to watch it. Can I actually put more fuel on it? Hmm. Might be something to that. Takes, takes, knight here. There'd probably be a d5 push. Every piece is watching over that. What a pain. All right, well, let me do this. I'm still not quite sure what I want to do with my dark square bishop. And I think this is a good square for the queen, so let me do it. Um, if the rook plays here, it becomes a bit more appealing to maybe run with this knight g5 move, seeing how f7 would be weakened as a result of the rook move. Um, okay, now i got to watch out for b5. Maybe I should actually commit my dark square bishop. I want to probably get uh, I should probably do that, right? Yeah, let's let's go with it. Okay, so there could be a structure change. Then uh, black will be looking to play on this side of the board. Uh, the actually, you know what? <clears throat> Here's another another feature of the the queen move. She's She's watching out for an eventual f5, should the structure change with pawn here. And I'm wondering if I should back my bishop up voluntarily. Mm. Pawn push, is that going to be played? Or actually, this could get really, really violent, really quick. In fact, right now, maybe I could push, or take, and then push. Whew. Wow. Pawn takes, knight captures. Actually, I would give give me this square if that happens. Pawn takes, knight takes. I have this square available. Pawn takes, pawn takes. This file opens up for the rook. Maybe I need to make one more move. Let me do this move, actually, because now I'm threatening to win this pawn with takes, and then I have a, three pieces on it. We might be seeing something happen here very shortly. Now, a good question is, what happens if e takes d? How do I recapture? Okay, the, my opponent's going in reverse, and I think that now is actually a good time to open it up. However, if I take here, pawn recaptures, the bishop's getting hit, so maybe I retreat my bishop first, or play here. 
and open the position up. Pawn push takes, 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 takes. This rook is undefended in those lines. I'm going to do it. I have the space advantage, and once there is a disconnect, this is another reason why I'm going to strike in the center. It's because they are, they are the uncoordinated side. This knight can't be too comfortable being on the back rank. And these, these rooks, again, a disconnect. Potential for the rook being unprotected if there's a series of exchanges on d5. So big decision here. Loss of material, loss of a pawn could translate into the loss of a game. One wrong move, one... One misstep, and that could be TKO. Okay. Two minute warning for Team Black. A lot of tension. When there is possibilities for multiple pawn structures to come about, that's usually a time to really be going into a think tank. Huh. Now that's interesting. What about knight here? Hmm. What's the scoop? I'm down on time now. Should I take here first? Wow, takes, man, I can't figure this out. Let me take there first. Actually, oh yes, definitely, right? Because I have a knight, an ensuing knight move right here, hitting the queen, and then maybe coming here or something. If the bishop takes, maybe I have knight g5. Maybe. I think at the end of it all, um, I mean, I could end up ha having a, an active rook or something, and this rook is still needing some work before I could contribute. So... Let's see. What is the big plan here? Uh, one minute to figure out all these complications. It's not gonna happen, right? We're both gonna have to fly. We're both gonna have to go real quick here. I don't know what the best uh, move is. Did my opponent disconnect? Oh, are they gonna move at all? Oh, there's only 34 seconds. This is a ton of time to be spending right here. If black is wanting to win, they gotta go quick. Okay, knight here. Knight here. Knight here. Let me try that. Bishop takes, I capture here. Mate threat. Ah, this is falling. I'm on the queen. Take with check. Oh, hang on. There's a mate here. Mate threat. Don't you dare. <laughs> I would have got really loud. G2. G2 is on fire. Hang on, what's the best move? Bishop takes knight. TKO. Um, how about queen g3? And everybody's happy. Wow, what a slick move. Actually, let me do this. Let's defend, because now I'm threatening knight takes bishop. Ah, that's a Chekaruski. Take the queen, and I'm going to recapture with my pawn, so I'm on the knight at the end of it. Let's capture stuff, open it up. Pawn push, and then promote. And in between her. Okay, my bishop's close to trapped, but I'm going to do this. Hit the bishop. 
I'm on that bishop too. I'm on the rook. This. Pre moves. No time. Okay. Good game. That got really, really intense, that middle game right there. Let's back up. Interesting. I've seen that played before, where black pivots about with those minor pieces and puts uh, an incredible amount of pressure on d5. I wonder if there was another key move maybe somewhere there that could have caused me some problems. Ah, let me flip the board. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Um, so, so far so book, right? So far so book. I don't know about my h3 move, but at least uh, keep in mind the the idea behind it. I have a space advantage, sometimes giving up this bishop because it's tough to maybe even get it working in this structure. It's expendable. Trade the bishop for knight and focus on keeping a grip over these dark squares. So, hmm. I wonder if, um, I wonder if e5 was the way to go. Like right here, as soon as I piled up on this, I think in the ensuing complications, there's really, we could say at this point, there's no way that white could be any worse off with these, the, I mean, black is just playing on three ranks right here, and actually, you know, well, here, here you go, actually, all right, um, here's, here's a way to look at it, right, it's, it's three ranks that black is playing on, and I'm playing on five, I'm fully developed, I have a flight square for my king, in fact, this is an important, these are maybe like little, little hints to let you know why maybe, uh, the knight move is not good because look at look at how things are in favor for me. I mean, you, you look a bit more long term and you, you start to realize, whoa, all, all major pieces are still on the board. In fact, not even a single capture has occurred just yet. Um, and black doesn't have a flight square yet. So if the position is going to be opening up, who do you think, if you're, if you're weighing the probability and statistics of things here, who do you think is maybe going to be able to capitalize on the other? Um, so yeah, and I, I think my opponent is saying, uh, that, uh, in the chat right here, they're saying that E5, yeah, maybe a better idea. Yeah. I think you're going to have to go with that. Of course, I think, you know what, it could actually be the case where white's response of, let's say, capturing on this square and then recapturing, hitting the queen and then following up with like an F4 is probably still good for white being down a minor piece but having just this avalanche of pawns right here in the center taking away a, all support points for the knights um i think that would even be a, a pretty good possibility which is all, all the more appealing because of the queen's position how you could take with the bishop and then the knight and beyond the queen you really don't give black a chance to breathe with that small combination but uh, in any event, maybe that was actually the best try, e5. So, yeah, going backwards is, I guess, asking for trouble. Um, so, okay, e5, critical pawn moves, critical pawn moves. 